Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can use the new AI features in the Mac version of NoPlan. In another video I have shown you already how you can use the AI transcription on iOS, but let's dive into the Mac version now. So first of all I show you how you can use it in general and then a couple of use cases. And one notice, uh, at the moment you cannot set the OpenAI API key if you want to use your private key because this is not allowed in the App Store. So we cannot use external licenses or payment methods. So we have set a, a maximum rate limit which you can use, which is quite high and which is free for now. But if you reach it, we might have to introduce a um, subscription or or an in-app purchase or something. So you can buy credits or so um, to for heavy AI users. Okay, let's dive into the examples now. So how does it work in general? So first, uh, you need some text to work with, for example, semantic search. So this is a topic I want to learn more about uh, or I want to write something about it in, in my no plan notes. So I select this text. The next step is command J to open the command bar. And now you can just type in the prompt into the command bar. For example, um, explain this in a few sentences. Use formatting, uh, keep it short. And then command I. Also you can find the prompt AI button at the bottom of the command bar options. But because I have so many notes, I don't see it at the moment. So you see it uh, made semantic search uh, the words bold and then it added some explanation of what it is. So I show you again how it works. Um, let's say this text is too long for me. I don't want this much of text. So I select this then command J again and then summarize this into one short s sentence. And then you can also scroll to the bottom and you see promo, uh, prompt AI at the bottom, which you can click or the shortcut for this is command I, which I've used already. So now it made it a short text. So you can use it to explain things. You can use it to summarize things. These are the, uh, the simple options. Then let's try something else. For example, if we want to write a tweet or an email or something similar, we can also write some text and then let AI complete the task. For example, uh, we are releasing a new version with AI features. Okay, let's select this text and command J again and say write a, an enthusiastic tweet. Okay, command I again to send it to OpenAI. And we are only sending the selected text to OpenAI to their servers. So nothing else of the node is sent or anything else from of your information is sent to OpenAI. So you see it created a tweet, though it's a bit too long, I guess. Exciting news, we are thrilled to announce and so on. So it gives you um, some template to keep working with. Or we can say, uh, sorry, but we need to fire you. If you want to write some text, but uh, you don't know how to make it more polite, for example, so we can say, uh, we can write an email, for example, write a polite email, keep it short. I've noticed if you don't add keep it short or if you want to have a long text, it might not work out very well because it also takes very long. So I try to keep it always very short so let's see what it comes up with this prompt. Okay, and we have the recipient. I hope even if I well. I regret to inform you that we're no longer and so on. So it it makes a it gives you a complete email. So you can also use it to write emails, for example. So let's say we have this as an email. Kind of regards, Edward, dear person, and we want to make this. Um, not too formal, so we can also change it and say make this email less formal and more fun. Though this topic <laughs> might not work well with this prompt, but let's see what OpenAI comes up with. Okay, let's see. Hey there person, how's it going? I hope this email brings you a smile to your face. Unfortunately, I have some not so great news we won't be able to give you. Uh, 
and so on. So it changed it quite well to something else. So you can change the tone. If you prepare an email, you can change the tone of the email or the text in general, tweet or whatever you want to send to someone. Uh, you can prepare it here and change it. So this was explain, um, changing the tone, translating, translating works okay, uh, of course, like hello world. Let's uh, translate into Spanish. Hola mundo. So we can use this, make it shorter or longer. We can use uh, another example um, in the next update. You can finally, fin uh, oh, let's keep this finally, use transcription. So we can, um, I want to show you another example, but let's say um, fix spelling and grammar. So it fixed the spelling here uh, directly. You don't need to select and say if you want to fix it or not. Okay, we can select this and say write it in three sentences just to make it longer. And then we have three bullet points in this case. Uh, so it expands it a bit. So uh, we can also, for example, try find action points. So um, today we need to upload the new version to the app store. Okay, now we can try create action points, create three action points as tasks. Now create it three tasks. So if you need to come up with some action points or break down a task, for example. Also, we can use uh, something like brainstorm ideas. So for example, for ASO, we change the title to no plan, or no plan. Um, for example, AI notes. So we select this and say brainstorm more um, title ideas for the app store. Give me 10 examples. Then we send it with command I. And here we have 10 examples for um, app store titles, though a few of them are, or most of them are too long. So I could also say, I could also select everything and say um, shorten the titles to, mm, not sure, I think 100 characters or less. And it made it shorter. Um, so this works quite well. Let's try making a table. Okay, three apples, two bananas, 100 kiwis. Select this. And create a markdown ta table. Create a simple markdown table. And create a table, but let's switch the nodes. And then you see the table correctly. So this might be a bug which we need to fix. But you see it ca also can create tables out of just some text. I think if you use it consciously in your daily work, you can actually be quite productive with AI, especially with the transcription on iOS, which you should check out. So I hope this was useful and we might have to introduce a kind of extra subscription or credit system or so, just to keep the costs under control if you're a heavy AI user. If you just want to use a couple of AI commands or prompts in a month, um, this will be will probably stay free, but let's see. So let me know what your feedback is on this in the comments.